Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you some live remote duel with commentary, Cyber Dragons vs Dogmatica Burning Abyss. Now my locals, Game Nation, recently started hosting uh, remote duel locals and I have to say it's been really fun, although of course it does bring some challenges with the remote dueling aspect. And I'll try to bring some more remote duel footage in the future, so make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of that. And it's pretty interesting to see everyone's setup because not everyone has an ideal setup because, you know, they don't all have a tripod lying around. So for example, my opponent here, he said he was using a lamp to display his field. So, you know, innovation at its finest and it looks pretty solid. Setup's pretty red though. Uh, maybe that's intentional to get the whole Dante's Inferno theme going on. <laughs> but anyways guys, enough talking. So our opponent does go first and he starts off with the Pot of Desires. Banishes 10 and draws 2. Our opponent is going to normal summon Fiendish Rhino Warrior and special summon Libic. And then overlay into Dante. Now, Dante is going to mill Rhino, or detach Rhino rather, and mill 3, which is Skarm, Ash, and Ecclesia. Now, Rhino Warrior's effect, he's going to dump Seer uh, and not use its effect. And he's going to discard the Skarm and overlay into Beatrice. And so end phase, he's going to use Skarm's effect and add Farfa to hand. And then it looks like he's going to set one and pass turn to me. So keep in mind, this first game I hard drew the Dark Magician, Red Eyes Fusion, and Cyframe Driver. So huge bricks and, you know, wasn't looking too good at the beginning here. So I start by using Foolish, I'm just trying to bait the Ash here if he has it because essentially my play right now that I could do was just to get out Dragoon using Red Eyes Fusion. So with Foolish I send off the Hertz and then I use Hertz's effect to add the Cyber Dragon to the hand from deck. Next, I activate Cyber Emergency again, still trying to bait the Ash if he has it, otherwise I would fetch the core. And it does get hit by an Ash. So now we can just use Red Eyes Fusion and bring out Dragoon. And we send off the Dark Magician in our hand and the Red Eyes Black Dragon in deck. So with Dragoon, we use its effect and pop Beatrice, and he takes 2500. And so he is going chain link 1 Dante, chain link 2 Beatrice, so Dante is going to add Seer back to hand, and Beatrice is going to special, I'll just call him Purple Dante. So next I use Dragoon to pop Purple Dante, and so he chains Purple Dante's effect, discards the Seer so he can draw 1. And now that Purple Dante is destroyed by a card effect, he can use its effect to try to rip a card out of my hand. And so he's going to do Chain Link 1, Purple Dante, Chain Link 2, Seer, which I negate with Dragoon. And this worked in my favor because I was hoping that he didn't ha special summon another body on board so I can just attack for game with Dragoon because he's already taken 5300 in burn damage so he has uh, 2700 left. And so now with the purple Dante, he does get to randomly discard a card in my hand. So he, we're just going to roll dice. Uh, hand is a card if he rolls even, and the other being odds. So he rolls a 6 and he does rip the Cyber Dragon out of my hand, but honestly it doesn't matter because I just enter a battle phase and attack for game. So that's it for game 1. Now for game 2, I unfortunately had some technical difficulties with my recording so I only had about the last half of the footage for game 2, but it was a quick game anyways and so I'm just going to show you the final bit of that game 2 where my opponent summons a Boreload, attacks my Dragoon which I had already used the negate earlier in that turn so it had 4000 attack and takes control of it, 
and then uses Borlo to reduce Anaconda's attack by 500, putting it to zero, and attacking it with Dragoon and kill me because I had exactly 4,000 life points at this point. So that was like literal surgical precision right there. Hats off to my opponent because we were both laughing at that of, at how perfect that was. So we do move on to game three. Okay, so moving on to game three, I do choose to go second as usual. So our opponent is gonna start off with the Foolish Burial and he's gonna dump the Grav. And with Graf's effect, he is going to special summon out the Seer. Next, he's going to special summon out the Calcab from hand and then overlay for Dante. And then Dante, detach, Calcab, and mill three. And so now he's going to activate Cagna's effect to send the Burning Abyss spell trap to grave. And he's going to dump the Fire Lake to grieve. Uh, next he's just gonna discard and then go into Beatrice and then looks like he's going to set one and pass. So I start my turn by kaijuing the Beatrice and so we're just gonna put that token over there just under the extra monster zone. And now he's gonna do uh, chain link one seer, chain link two Dante and then so Dante adds the seer back to hand and the seer specials the dante and then on resolution he activates d barrier and he calls fusion so i definitely did not expect that but that definitely hurts as i was trying to go for their kill this turn so i'm just gonna activate the emergency and then i'm just gonna fetch the core to hand so we are just going to normal summon the core and we're going to search the overflow just so that we don't die next turn. So we did have a bit of a technical difficulty here where our call disconnected and when we reconnected, I didn't put our call on full screen right away to record it the way it has been. So the field placement looks a little different right now but don't worry, it will get back to normal soon. Basically here, I just set my overflow and then I do pass my turn. So our opponent here is going to normal summon the graph and then it's going to nuke itself and then it's going to special summon Lytic from deck and then that's going to blow itself up and then he's going to special summon the seer from hand. So next he's going to link off the Dante and the seer and then go into Nightmare Cerberus and so he's going to use seer to special summon the Dante and Dante to uh, add back the seer to hand. And then with Cerberus, he is going to pitch the side frame driver to pop my core. So we're going to enter battle phase and he's going to swing for a thousand with Dante. And then next he attacks with Cerberus and I do use the overflow here to pop the Cerberus because in my head, you know, if I took all of the damage on board here, I would have 2100 left. So next turn, if I were to use Anaconda, then I would have only a hundred left and I felt that was a little bit risky and I wanted to leave the Kaiju on board because if I can bring out the Dragoon then I can pop and deal uh, high burn damage. And so Dante is just gonna switch itself to defense mode and looks like our opponent passes turn. So I'm gonna start off the turn by activating emergency and add the Hertz to hand. So I normal summon the core and I'm gonna fetch the repair plant and at this point I actually realized that he only has just the one card in hand which is the seer so I really do have game. So I'm just gonna link off into the Omirage, add the repair, use the repair plant rather and add soldier and basically you know I can bring out infinity and dragoon and essentially just go for game there. And my opponent realizes what I'm about to do, so he does concede, but it was a super fun game, and hats off to my opponent there. Alright guys, so that's it for my first remote duel that I brought onto this channel. Really hope you enjoyed that, because I can definitely bring more, and I'll still bring the dueling book replays too, as well of course. Anyways guys, that's it for me, take care.